Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. I've got an unusual video for you today. It's a haul because, hey, if you can't beat them, join them, right? <laughs> I know they're popular on YouTube, but this is actually going to be a little different because instead of it being a what did I buy, I've got everything in my reusable bag here, what did I buy at Joann's, it's going to be kind of what did I leave at Joann's. Um, I think as crafters, we all have a bit of a we all have a little bit of trouble when it comes to um, to our stashes and controlling what we bring in because yeah, it's fun. It's fun to get something new. That's why haul videos are popular. People like to see what other people find, right? It's kind of fun. Uh, well, I spent fourteen dollars and ninety two cents at Joann's the other day, and um, I would have spent more actually. I had a few other things in my basket, but as I thought about them, I put them back on the shelf. And I'm going to tell you what those things are and why I put them back and how I got the look with stuff I already had at home. So. Um, Quickly, I'll show you what I bought. Um, it was their anniversary sale, and they had um, all of their Super Value canvases on sale for $10 a pack. So I got this set of 12, uh, this pack of 12 8x8 canvases. I thought this was a nice size. I like to work square a lot because it's kind of novel and fun. And also, I share a lot of my work online in a square format. And my daughters also like to paint, so I like to have a lot of um, canvases on hand. And I didn't have any 8x8s. I hadn't seen that size before. So for $10, I picked this up for like less a dollar a canvas we can you know don't have to be stingy with them and then they also had their pattern paper so that was ten dollars on my fourteen dollars and ninety two cent purchase they also had pattern paper on sale for um Oh, 24 cents a sheet. I think it's re regular 79 cents and it was 70% off. So I think it was 23 or 24 cents a sheet. So I got this to cut up and use as card um, collage pieces. And I got some prints that were a little bit on the smaller size. I love the rainbows. This is such a nice rainbow print. Um, because the smaller scale prints are good on greeting cards and that's generally what I do. Now I do scrapbook, but um, I have plenty of larger print scrapbook papers and also this would be great on many I could do many birthday cards with just this one page which is great um, because I do always make batches when I make a card like a video on YouTube um, actually last card I didn't even make a video for it was an anniversary card but anyway when I make a card I tend to make a batch of them so that some can go in the shop where I sell and um, and then I have a few extra on hand for if I need a last minute card. But I went for smaller prints because I'm going to use them for card making. When I scrapbook, I tend to start off with the base of a thick card stock and I like to work on there. Um, and I do use a lot of pattern papers just because I have them, but I, I generally, with scrapbooking, tend to prefer more plain papers. I, and pretty much most of the scrapbooking I do is at the end of the year, I do scrapbook calendars for my uh, my parents and I do, um, I just got a couple of this pretty plain card stock because I don't think I have um, any more of this color. That's one I use up pretty quickly. Um, and I have some um, I have some celestial stamps that I want to use with that, the phases of the moon paper. But that was pretty much it. Another rainbow. This one was double-sided. I think this was the only double-sided paper that I got uh, from the Vicki Booten collection. But they're all on sale for 24 cents each. And that's what I bought. Now, one thing I was going to pick up was a set of cross-stitch alphabet. So it was a small alphabet set by Hero Arts, I believe. And it was... Um, it was to do cross-stitch alphabets, but then I thought, I bet I can do something like that at home. Now, the reason I was going to buy the stamp set, and I was telling myself, if I buy the stamp set, I'm going to have to make sure I store it with my cross-stitch-like stamp. So let me show you what I have that I was thinking they would go with. So one of my criterias of buying a new stamp set is, will this make the stamps I already have more useful, or is it just going to replace something I already have? So I'll purchase a stamp set if it's going to make what I already have more useful. The other thing I ask myself is, is there a way that I can create this look without buying the stamp set? And I realized as I thought about it that I could create the look. So I'll show you what I have here um, for products. And I just kind of bundled them together because even though these dies don't match all the stamps, they coordinate really well like this hoop, this embroidery hoop I could use with um, uh, that die I could use with these Stampin' Up stamps here that have little cross stitch designs that are kind of sweet. Um, I can also use it with this paper tray ink set that I have here. I don't know if that's going to really focus, but it's got a little embroidery hoop. I actually do have the dies that go with that. Um, is that there? I think... I actually do those. I think those go with this. Um, and I just thought that was really sweet. And um, I love sewing themed things. This is These are from Waffle Flower. They're just some really cute um, cross stitch theme stamps. So I was thinking, you know... I think that I could do this on my own. So what I thought I had, but I didn't, I thought I had a little plastic stencil that came in a stationary kit 
or an office supply kit that I could just draw like regular block letters with, but I must have destashed that. And that's why we hoard, because as soon as we think of something that we're gonna, that we could use it for, we realize we got rid of it years ago. So, um, so that didn't work out quite as well, because I hunted, I'm like, oh, I thought for sure I had just a plain stencil. So I didn't, but what I did have was I had this paper stencil from, um, Oh, what's the company? Faber-Castell. You know they have those packs of 10 paper stencils? This was one of the ones that had like different sayings, but it also had an alphabet, which I hadn't used for anything, but it worked really well for this. And I didn't have the little um, regular stencil that I thought, but I'm like, it's pretty easy to write out a word. So like I did here what I did, and uh, let me just zoom in a little bit, and I'll draw it darker than I typically would just to make sure you can see it. But I just, and I have terrible penmanship, but I just, in block letters, wrote out the word hello and then I took a marker just my Tombow bullet tip um, marker any um, you can even use a sharpie anything like that anything that's got like a bullet tip is going to be fine get a love the Tombows they just hold up so well and then all I did was I just made little X's and granted this might take a few minutes more to um, to do than just stamping a stamp obviously be a little neater than this I'm just trying to talk and make X's at the same time which is surprisingly challenging um, oh my gosh isn't it challenging <laughs> um, even though it took a few more minutes that's you know me not talking and doing it I think the look was pretty much the same and I could do it whatever size I wanted so I wasn't limited if I wanted to do it smaller I'd use a finer tip pen like a, a little felt tip you know, writing pen or something like that, a fine liner, but definitely pretty easy. And then I started to think, well, what if I used a stencil like this? And because I came across this as I was trying to find my uh, little lettering stencil. It was just like a little office supply. I think it came with some like lip smack or lip gloss. Like, I don't know, I was probably in high school. And for some reason, I did carry it around for quite a while. Um, oh my God, make an excellency. And this works really well too. And actually, it's probably going to be easier to line up than a stamp, and um, yeah, it was pretty easy. So I was able to get the look of the stamp set that I almost bought, but I didn't. Now, the other thing that I didn't buy was a packet of um, Tim Holtz embellishments, like the, the paper cuts. Uh, they were like just paperweight embellishments. I had some of his cardstock ones. I really liked it. But then I realized I like making my own embellishments, and I could print out or stamp on sticker paper and cut it out with my scan and cut and have stickers or print on cardstock and have it a little more useful, a little bit more what I like. So I decided to leave that behind as well. So what would have probably cost me closer to uh, $25 actually ended up costing me $14 because I realized that I had solutions at home that I could use instead. So I know it's not a very exciting haul, but um, it, sometimes you can wander through a store and it can give you ideas on ways you can use the things you have at home already to be much more useful. So I hope that gives you a little inspiration and um, a little outside of the box thinking. So the next time you, you've got a, you've seen something that you just got to have or you think you got to have, you might think maybe I can do something similar with what I have at home already. Or maybe you'll realize that, yeah, that would really enhance what I already have and make what I have more useful. So um I hope you enjoyed this. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like these alternate hauls. I don't know what to call it. An anti, it's not an anti-haul because I did buy some stuff. Maybe, um, I don't know, alter hauls, alternative hauls. What should we call it, guys? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.